I have the pleasure of introducing Zweli Banzi. What we need to be very clear about is that the challenge, and it has to be the challenge. Who are you? What are you about? Are you in the right environment? To change is something that often we cannot do. Only can transform a corporate after you have transformed the individual. The challenge is for us to articulate how and the first point of transformation is to try and assist you to become your heart. It is wrong to be afraid because the Bible tells us what? Be not afraid. Where am I? Where do I want to be? The state to the condition, not to the action that needs to be taken. What's holding me back? What's stopping me? Aren't I there yet? Now that I know where I am, I know where I want to be. I'm even clear about the obstacles that stand in my way. Then, what do I need to do? Source. Target. Obstacles. Game plan. in setting up systems was not so much the issue of setting up the systems. The systems themselves were not the challenge. So it became evident that Microsoft and IBM products are the same here and in, the, in Western Europe. And the technology would be the same. The piece of hardware is the same. The software is the same, but there is something called the peopleware which makes the difference. <laughs> And it was important for us to understand the role of the people were in making sure that the hardware and the software will come together. And so I shifted focus and I started to study strategy and change management. And one of the things that I came up with is that actually change management is a misnomer. It's not the change that we manage, it's the resistance. So it should actually be called resistance management. Because the change is something that often we cannot do much about. Okay? And so in that whole area, we, it became clear to me that what we should focus on is looking at how we can have the people were ready to accept the hardware and the software. Global Internet Evangelism Network is a technology project. It's about introducing new technologies to developing our evangelism network. If you then answer the question, where am I, source, where do I want to be target, what is stopping me, obstacles, and what do I need to do in order to get there, That I'm going to introduce you to two more terms. First one is sharpens, and this is what it stands for. These are the things we need to ask ourselves. You know, as we are doing this top analysis, as we are asking ourselves, where are we, where do we want to be, what's stopping us, and how do we get If you draw a matrix of 4 by 10, and you put stop on the top, and sharpens all the way down to 10 at the bottom. If you then answer the question, where am I, source, where do I want to be, target, what is stopping me, obstacles, and what do I need to do in order to get the plans, and you answer those four questions with respect to all these 10 assessment areas, that constitutes your personal transformation plan, and that's where my counseling sessions, that's where my workshops, my courses, and that's where these 
Slack of Business School, Joint Stop um, Bootcamp, Comprehensive Experience, all end. And I do have some clients and students who have been through that, and they will be talking to us as soon as I bring this official session of the exposition of stop and shuttles to an end, which is now. Thank you. The whole concept of alignment is to ensure that we, we take one step back and we decide what is the game plan, what is the blueprint, how are we going to go forward with this. Technical feasibility is not even the issue here. We started by discounting that complication. That's what I started this presentation with, saying the technical issue is not really the problem. The issue here is managing resistance to change. And what you need to do is to ensure that even before you deploy that strategy, people are already clamoring for it. Please, when is that strategy coming? We're now dying to implement it. But your ability to change in such a way that your behavior is consistent with your age is called change management. Yes, there are some aspects of stop which I which I've started to to apply to my to my to my work life and even to my personal life as well. You can initiate and take control, whereas before you rely on almost that someone else is superior or better, and that's the only way you can go forward. You can go forward by taking control yourself. <laughs> it's logical, but for someone to just stop and say it put it back in your head, yeah, that's basically the big difference and the big change. I have uh, been to um, one or two seminars, I understand it and I've also applied it in my own personal life. Before I started using Stop and now there's uh, been some changes in my own personal life. So with Stop, I have found that when you apply it, um, you look at where you are in life now. Then look at what you would want to do in life, what, where you want to be in life. So stop guides you. It's a tool that actually brings out um, a particular person or a particular individual strengths and uh, even like, uh, what can I say, like unique selling points. To, to listen to the advice of Zwilly um, Banzi and, and his associates. Um, that doesn't mean you have to take it as gospel, but it's to open your mind and just see the process. You've got the guideline and focus and, and take it on board. Thank you very much. I'm a lecturer at the university, so when I listen to a lecture of this caliber, I'd like to address uh, Professor Zwellipani. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, sometime in 2005, I actually went to look at uh, the fiber tracting connection with the brain. Uh, I'm a medical doctor, and I was very shocked to sit down with the uh, engineering students. End of the term, we performed the same way. So we got one line, engineering, MBC, uh, PCB, biology, and product is the same. Our conclusion, the brains are not wired in one way. They are different from uh, the fish uh, because they are multipotential. And this is biblical as well. And this is subatomic physics as well. And therefore, uh, the way the wizard uh, is society that conditions us the wrong way. Number three, uh, Einstein said, if there's one thing you'd really like to change is uh, the way school is done. He was thrown out at age 16. He was a poor physicist. 1905. We wrote a theory which you proved a few months ago. So, uh, I still believe I'm a student of multipotentiality, and that there are many of those uh, children you're going to have will fail in physics and chemistry today in one school, with a different teacher. I put them in a professor's early Monday. They perform very well. Same brain, different results, different teachers. I believe, Professor, if you taught anything, any student would learn. <laughs> It's very, it's very encouraging to come listen and see sometimes how these, um, how something like stock can help change your life and things like that. But how do you, when we leave here today, how do you, or what do you do to encourage people to continue to, continually think about either stepping out of their comfort zones and things like that, stepping out of the 
Yeah. So I, I can step out here today and feel so encouraged, but how do you ensure that it continues into my into, into the future to the next five years, to the next ten years? Is there something that people can work with, can live with as they continue to try and implement whatever it is that you use in store and shop and stuff like that? What I like about this audience is that I have corporate clients and I have individual clients and I have couples. So I don't know if any of my clients, and this is a big risk, a serious risk that I speak has taken. I don't know if any of my clients would like to step up and answer how this thing worked for them. I'm going to attempt to answer Grace's question. Um, I know Zueli in two fronts, as a student and as a client. I met Zueli when um, CDS and, I mean, NSC was becoming automated. And at that time, he was coming in as an IT consultant, changing literally how the industry operates. And I didn't realize what his role was until later, or several years later, when um, I realized there was so much resistance in the industry to move from the open outcry system to um, basically an automated system. And so his job, as I realized later, was not necessarily just the IT system but to get us to change our mindset and the way that we operate mm. to be able to move into something totally new and to operate in a new fashion. I then met Zwelly again at um, Strathmore Business School. I was doing uh, MBA, and when Zwelly came, uh, the first question I asked Florence, who was sitting next to me, she, she was at CDS. Florence. Yeah, she's okay. right there. <laughs> the first question I asked her is, is this guy a preacher? Because this is exactly how our lecture, her lectures went in class, and it was amazing. And for me, I, that's the same question I asked myself. Okay, fine, I feel all pumped up. I'd read on about it when I get home to Alan. But I was like, okay, fine, so how do I do this in my life? And I realized that there was no way I could actually grasp it and begin to implement it without totally understanding what does security and environment really mean? What are the specific questions I need to ask myself? So one day after the class, I went to Zwelly and I said, look, I actually want to learn this thing from me so that I can implement it in my life. And I've also learned that when I learn something, I want to share it with my husband so that we're moving in the same pace. And I asked him, would it be possible for us to do it as a couple? Um, and Zwelly was like, yeah, sure, I've never done it for a couple before, but let's see how we go. Uh, it took some convincing to get out to come along, but uh, <laughs> I said to him, like, I mean, what am I going to learn? Another motivational speaker, we're paying so much money. <laughs> but it was worthwhile. Um, we're able to break down everything. My focus, um, as I realized, was career and education, and you know, where am I going and what's up with this? But it was great for me to be able to realize, oh my goodness, I have totally ignored my family. Uh, in the sense that I have cousins and I have aunties who exist who I can influence in one way or another mm. but because of my focus I have no time for guys and I realized life is about balance through stop and not just learning that it is about a balance but learning how can I actually implement it in my life in a way that works in a way that is measurable in a way that I can actually see results that are practical in a way that I can say every month on this day I'm going to spend this amount of time to do this and the other in a way that is very specific and that's what stopped us from you. Tonight, it's not going to be possible for you to go home and have a transformational experience <laughs> because it takes a lot more understanding and I think it's, that's why you need to see, see Zueli and he's not paying you for this by the way, on a different level. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, my name is Stella Kigutanganga and I'm a proud associate of Coca-Cola East and Central Africa. There are two things um, that have made our company sponsor this event um, this evening. One, because it's groundbreaking, and two, because it's transformational. And if you know the history of Coca-Cola, since 1886, we have been groundbreaking and transforming lives of people across the 200 countries in which our business operates. I trust that um, this event will be one that will be life-changing and transforming for us who are here today, and that when you leave, after we've learned about what STOP is, which is the power to start, 
And once we learn about positive transformation, the transformation that you are enjoying today, that you will leave this place and lead your life going forward in the spirit of Coca-Cola, which is optimism and open happiness. Thank you very much. My name is uh, Charles Kirero. And uh, I want to say that I uh, just want to hit the nail on the head because we are here to learn our experiences from each other. And I must say that uh, the stop approach in KPA, I'm going to read a small statement here that when we adopted stop at Kenya Falls Authority, our transformational journey. I can only compare it with the children of Israel in their magnificent trek from the dark regions of Egypt through, or rather across the Red Sea, through the wilderness, on towards the promised land. Please forget about the old KPA we used to know. We are a modern KPA. That may sound like a strange statement to make, but that's our history. I want to thank, uh, to express my thanks to Solivant. Actually, I call him my friend, because he started KPA from the darkness. Actually, I joined KPA in 2004, and uh, in my 15 years experience, I have never come across a jinx in business, where you find things are not moving. Zoli, thank you very much. I have my team here because we are proud to say that after the stop, we, the transformation is reflected in most of the staff became champions. I know most of the time you hear KBA on the wrong side of politics. But that's just politics. I want to invite you to Kenya Ports Authority it's the gateway to East and Central Africa, and we are very much proud to be associated with it. And you come and learn how we add value to your business. We play a very major role in the growth of Kenya economy uh, to the extent of uh, the landlocked countries. And if only you can pay a visit to the port, your port, it's your port actually, you will appreciate the kind of job that we do as a result of the storm. Today evening, I have my team here, and I want to invite one of them to tell you in Kiswahili the kind of culture that was there and what happened. Because now we're in the promised land. Kenneth, please come. Good evening, everybody. We are born. After we are born, we are born. We are born. KPA bwana Zuweda alipokuja tulikuwa na matatizo sana kwa sababu mnafahamu kwamba um, katika shirika letu tumeandika watu wengi sana kuna ambao wanafahamu Kiingereza wanakizungumza kwa ufasaha kuna ambao wakifahamu hata kidogo kuna wale ambao kwamba labda walianza kazi kwa sababu ya uh, wanasiasa wetu na walikuwa hawajaenda um, katika maso, hawajapata masomo kiasi kwamba um, wangeweza kuelewa ile lugha ambayo tulikuwa tunafunza nayo ndipo sa baada ya kuanza kufunza tukiwa tumejifunza na uh, dokumenti zetu tunajua kwamba Kiingereza ndio kilikuwa kitumike kufunza kulikuwa kuna kitu kama mgomo manake wengi walisema itakuwaje mtafundisha na hatutaelewa ndipo sa tukaanza sasa kufundisha kwa Kiswahili kwa bahati nzuri ama mbaya ikawa um, nilikuwa ninafahamu Kiswahili kidogo nikachaguliwa katika kile kikundi ambacho kili transform kili translate um, into, kis, into Kiswahili kitu kikubwa ambacho kilifanya tufanye hivyo ni watu waliposikia kwamba kuna change management walifikiria nzuri sisi katika KPA tulikuwa tunasema kwamba bahari haikauki na labda wengi wetu tuna mafikara kwamba bahari haiwezi kukauka na ikiwa bahari haiwezi kukauka kila siku meli zitakuwa zinakuja port tukafahamu tukafikiria kwamba sisi ha... sijui katika nyinyi katika mashirika ambayo labda ni ya serikali ya kuhapa ni wangapi ambao mkiingereza either tutamfundisha kwa lugha ya mama sijui kama mtaruhusu 
Dada yangu alipokuja hapa akasema kwamba akataja aka, aka, jina lake nimekumbuka kitu siku moja napitia kule ukambani nikakuta kwa meandikwa pundi wa stop kumbe wanamaanisha pundi wa stop sasa kumbe pia katika wale ndugu zangu waliokuwa pale waliposikia stop pia mimi pia ni mkamba kama wewe <laughs> walifikiria ndio hiyo hiyo stove waliokuwa na wanazungumzia karibuni oh protocol observe ladies and gentlemen my name is Tomo Mariba i'm here to represent unit unit is associated with the libanzu for a long time we believe in his uh, tools the stop um, approach we sponsored him way back in 2007 on radio. I believe that's how many of you got to know about him. We trained our business leaders through Zueli Banzo. He likes his name pronounced that way. And then we realized that it's not enough to, tra uh, to transform the leaders. We realized the tools that he has must be known by all staff. So we've taken all in his staff through Zueli's uh, and so it is that we are very happy to be associated with this dinner tonight to help transform individuals. Um, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Paul Oma. I'm a, a, a senior program manager at the Stratford Business School. And um, I must say that it's, it was very interesting seeing Zueli deliver his presentation. He spoke for about two hours and 15 minutes. And what we call his teachers. We were all his teachers. But apart from being his teachers, there's a lot of learning that uh, took place during that presentation. And uh, that's why we, as Stratford Business School, our, our core um, theme is true transformation. And it starts with the transformation of the person. And the transformation of the person it starts with, with you, the person seated in that chair. Then now we have the Stratford Business School, which started in 2005. Now, focus programs, meaning they take you through two, about two and a half days of transformation, or five days transformation. We also have what you call long, long program. Modules are spread over five, six months. By module, what I mean is that you go through specific skill sets, for example, negotiation, for example. Um, that's why we are very, we're very um, proud to be, um, to have very months. If very months is going to uh, conduct uh, uh, personal change good camp program in uh, uh, we, we've had experience of listening to very now that is just a tip of the iceberg. Zueli, I think you were awarded a honorary is it a degree or what? <laughs> Professor. I think you are worth more a lot than that. The doctor did that did that, yeah. So we are firm to you, you've changed our lives and we're gonna keep on going.